these recent protests, they do not have a clear objective. Yes, there, there are people around the country who say they are not happy with the system. They say yes to Khamenei. They say death to the Revolutionary Guards. They know what they do not want. But I have not heard even one slogan about what they want. Mm -hmm. One clear example of like, what is the clear objective. And that shows the confusion that the Iranian people have as well. Because when you talk to many Iranians, in especially major cities among middle classes, they cannot really identify with many of the protesters because they say, we do not know what they want. And at the same time, because of the uh, desperate situation of many people around the country, because of the sheer poverty, because there are so many people who have nothing to lose, there is some violence. And there are some people outside of Iran who are inciting violence. So there is, uh, for example, a person uh, who lives in this country, he has a challenge uh, for people to torch mosques or banks. And he has some followers. He may not be a leader. He is a, uh, his, his name is Mohammed Hosseini. He's a former game show host in Iran. He's a cross between Drew Carey and Howard Stern. Imagine <laughs> if you had a revolutionary Iran led by Drew Carey and Howard Stern. So uh, there, he's that kind of a character. And he's asking people to torch mosques and to torch banks, and they do it because they're just desperate for change. And uh, that has alienated many people uh, in Iran as well who do not want to be associated with this because they think that it can lead to uh, Iran becoming something similar to Syria. And the government has been very good in terms of taking advantage of people's fear for security. And as you, <clears throat> Suzanne knows better than I do, that Iranians have always, that fear of lack of security has always been the primary fear for Iranians. In the early 20th century, when there was chaos in the country, when there, uh, people could not travel between cities, Reza Shah, the father of the Shah, took over the country. He established a uh, rule of, certain rule of law, and people were uh, happy with uh, his rule for a long time. Then, in, during the 1953, there was chaos on the streets. Mossadegh seemed to be out of control. People went, uh, there was that coup. People could not, did not come to the streets and support him. And at the moment, the government knows that people really fear insecurity in the country. And they are taking advantage of scenes of violence, torching the banks, torching the mosques, violent uh, slogans in order to portray these uh, demonstrators as the government calls them 40,000 hooligans who are uh, being manipulated by outside forces.